Hello, this is Freundtech and today I want to show you how to create those 3D models for Minecraft. So, I will show you how to make the pumpkin 3D. So, I will just make this little stem on the top here stick out and what you need to do this is you need the newest Minecraft snapshot which is version 14w11b. You will need the text editor I'm using gedit on Linux, but on Windows you probably want to use editor or wordpad. Then you will need an image manipulation program, I'm using GIMP. And your explorer, and that's everything you need. So to start with, you need to find your .minecraft folder. On Linux and Mac it's just your home folder, and then slash dot minecraft on windows it's percent add data percent backslash dot minecraft then you have to go to versions and the folder named like the new snapshot of course you have to install the new snapshot first and then you will create a new folder called unpacked and you will open the 14w11b.jar using any ar archive manager you have installed. Grab all the files and drag them into the unpacked folder. You will need some of those files for later. But now we want to open a new window and go back to our .minecraft folder. Here we want to go to re uh, resource packs and create a new folder with the name of your resource pack. I'm choosing 3 default and next you have to go into this folder and create a new document called pack.mcmeter. Now go to your text editor and open this file resource packs, really fold, pack.mcmeter. Here what you want to type in this, next line, then pack, and this, pack underscore format one, and then description and the description of your resource pack um, find tech then this and this and this should work just save it Save. Go back to Minecraft. Options, resource packs. Oh, I already got it selected. If you now, if you go to resource packs, you should see your new resource pack, and you can activate it. But at the moment, it does nothing. So we have to add this. Go back to your file manager, and create a new folder called Assets. That's where all the files have to go. Open it and create a new folder called Minecraft. And in there you have to create a new folder called Models. And in there we will need a new folder called Block. And in there another new folder called Meshs. Now we have to fill those folders and first we have a look at what we want to change. So uh, in our unpacked minecraft.jar we also go to assets, minecraft, models, block and search for the pumpkin. So what you find is this file called pumpkin.json we can quickly open it 
and we will see pumpkin has four different variants that's north, south, e west and east that's just which way the pumpkin is facing all variants use the same model called cube so the first thing we want to do is we will just take this file and drag it into our resource pack on assets minecraft models block next we want to go to meshs and search for block cause that's the model that is used um, he's not finding it, let's search manually um, cactus, um, where's block oh it was called cube right not block it's cube and drag it into our meshs folder now we rename it to pumpkin cause we don't want to change all blocks to this new model but just the pumpkin then edit the pumpkin.json and tell him to use the model named pumpkin and do this for all variants and save now we have our pump pumpkin.json and we have the pumpkin.json in mesh so this uh, basically is the model um, let me open it right here open assets minecraft models block mesh pumpkin.json here we will see the type it's a cube it can also be pain for example for things like flowers and um, flowers grab some dirt like flowers are not made of cubes they're just paints so but in this case we got cube and it goes from 0 0 0 to 16 16 16 so what this means is it go if you look at your coordinates and you look at facing east south west north and we also see towards positive set positive uh, positive x positive set that means here is negative set and negative x that means this is the lowest coordinate so here we got 0 0 0 and this is 16 16 16 so the cube goes from here to here now what we have to do is we have to add another cube to do this we just copy everything from here to here copy it comma next line and paste it now we got two, two cubes at exactly the same position if we press F3 plus S we can reload texture pack and nothing happened cause it's still everything looks the same so we have to change the coordinates of our new cube and to do this I am often using granite cause it's just the best block to count pixels cause every pixel looks different so first we want to have this square so this goes from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 from 7 to 8, 9 so from 7 to 9 and in the x direction it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 8, 9, so also from 7 to 9 go to our text editor x was 7 to 9 set was also 7 to 9 and the height will be so y will be from 16 to 17 so it sticks out of the block so let's quickly type in that 16 to 17 save go back to minecraft press f3 plus s to reload the texture pack and you will see a little pumpkin on top of our pumpkin but we don't want to have a pumpkin on top of there we want to have the texture from the stem 
so next we go to our image editor and we go to file open go to your .minecraft folder go to version snapshot unpacked assets minecraft textures blocks and here you have to search for pumpkin pumpkin underscore top dot png and open that and you will see we now got the pumpkin text uh, right here here you also have to count the coordinates and there's something different with the image coordinates and with the block coordinates so on the image your y-axis starts from top and goes to bottom and on the 3d block it starts from the bottom and goes to the top so keep that in mind we want to have the coordinates 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 2 9 and also 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 2 8 9 also 7 to 9 for the top so 7 to 9 and 7 to 9 save that go back to minecraft press f3 plus s again and the top texture is now right now the side textures we got north south west and east and now we can have a look at this texture with the image looks like this so if you go to minecraft if you're looking from this direction you got the image correct so for north which is this way you want to have just the top two pixels so go back here for from the size for x it's for x it's still 7 to 9 but from the top it's now only 7 to 8 so go to your image editor north was 7 to 9 and 7 to 8 save it reload your resource pack and I think I did something wrong there wait a second 7 oh right I forgot to change this to up because it should use the up texture from the pumpkin and not a side texture the texture will still be on the north side but it will use the texture from the up side save it reload the texture pack and now this works so for the south texture we just want the bottom two pixels which is 7 to 9 and 8 to 9 so copy this paste it in here and change this to 8 to 9 save it reload texture pack and I forgot this again up reload now it works next we need the east and west texture so for west we just want the left two pixels which will be from 7 to 8 and from 7 to 9 so 7 8 and 7 9 save it go back to minecraft uh, change this to up save it go back to minecraft reload and you will see it's wrong you have you have to rotate it so to do this you just add comma and then a new line and here you type in rotation and in this case it will be 260 and save it reload and it's right now 
now just the last side which is the east it will use 8 to 9 and here it will use 7 to 9 so let's quickly type that in 8 to 9 and 7 to 9 change that to up oh, uh, so save it again and reload and this one is also rotated but in this case we have to rotate it by 90 degrees and not by 720 uh, 270, 270 so 90 in this case oh, and save reload it and now this also works now the second cube right here I w we will do the same thing again but we will move it one up but before we do this if we have it one on top of it we would have th this texture still here but also another cube sitting on top of it so first we want to remove this texture so we go back to GIMP activate our tools um, right here we want to use the color picker to pick this color use the pencil um, use this mode so the first one and that size to one so we can paint in individual pixels this 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 and color picker again paint this and this and this and this and this then color picker again we want to paint this and this and maybe choose this color for this one now we go to file export and we go back to our .minecraft folder resource packs, our resource pack assets minecraft and create a new folder called textures in there we will create a new folder called blocks this folder is called blocks but the folder and models is called block I don't know why Mojang made this so but it is so and in blocks we want to save our pumpkin top.png export it again export go back to minecraft and reload the resource pack now this is gone and we just got this we will go back to our text editor copy our newly created cube and paste it again now we will move it one up by changing this to 17 and 18 and now it's just it's um, two blocks high but we also want to move it one to the side so just change all this coordinates to what was it it's one less in Z and one less in X so just change this to 6 to 8 and 6 to 8 save it, go back to Minecraft, reload the pack and it works so this cube now also uses the textures from this spot cause there are no, cause there are no textures on top and but that's what we want and I think I forgot one thing if I you can't really see it but if I go into spectator mode and fly in here at the bottom they still got the pump the whole pumpkin texture so for this one for the um, for this one you can't see it but but for this one you can probably see it sometimes so we want to fix this so to do this just go back to your editor and change the down downside texture to the just the same as the top texture save it go back to minecraft reload and if we now go back into spec and 
Um, I'm not sure if it works because it's really dark, but I think it worked. So, now for the other thing. Here, that's the tube where you can't see the down texture. So you can just remove it completely. Save again, go back to Minecraft, reload, and it won't change anything for the looks, but if you got many of those models in your world, it will re reduce the lag for you. So that was my tutorial on how to create those 3D models. I hope you understood everything and thanks for watching.